Yeah, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to install Tailwind CSS into React. So let's get started. We're going to go first of all in your terminal. This is a pretty simple project. I'm actually using Vite, not React. We're going to first of all install Tailwind CSS. We're going to use here the command npm install dash d for dependency Tailwind CSS. And we're also going to install post CSS and auto prefixer. So let's hit enter. And it's going to install for us Tailwind CSS. Okay, after this command, uh, you could actually check out your know, package.json. You should now see Tailwind CSS. Now, after this command, we're going to npx create, create a Tailwind CSS init and dash p, which is going to create here a configuration file and also for Tailwind CSS and for post CSS. Now, in our contest, in our Tailwind config.config file, we're going to copy in the commands. Also, I'm going to leave everything down in the description below. We're going to copy in the source where everything exists. So because this is going to be used for any kind of project, including Beat or, or Svelte or any kind of project, you will, well, for React, it's going to be source. But these up here are for different types of projects. So you can see also including TypeScript and so forth. So I would suggest that you just copy in all of them. The entire code is down in the description below, so don't worry about it. Now let's go to our index.css and I just deleted everything that is in here. And we're going to copy in here from where the build will start. So we're going to copy in here at tailwind base, at tailwind components, and at tailwind utilities. Now we're going to run our project by typing in npm run and dev, which is which should then start your project. Now this is basically a previous project created for the how to install bit in React for React. So this is why you're going to see this, but you should see a regular React project. Now let's add a couple of classes. Let's say we're going to add here a class name of text and we're going to make it larger. So three times XL. And there we go. It's working. Tailwind CSS is installed in our project. You we'll also make it bold by typing in font dash bold. Let's add a background color to this to this little button let's say we're going to go to the button add a class name here of pg blue and let's say dash 100 you also round out the border by typing a rounded it and let's say md and there we go borders are rounded let's add a padding p dash one any one padding to everything and like it like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video, also we're posting regular projects and tutorials on the channel. So consider subscribing and click that notification bell in order to get notified whenever there's a new video. So with this being said, happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.